Meet the IER M7 and M9, Sony's multi-balanced armature stage monitors. While Sony created these IEMs with professional musicians in mind, their practical, comfortable design will appeal to music lovers of all kinds. The outer earpiece housing on the M7 is made of plastic, whereas it's magnesium alloy on the M9. But both earphones feature an internal magnesium alloy bracket to suppress resonances. The earphones themselves have been thoughtfully designed for a stable fit in most ears, and the cables feature materials to help reduce cable noise and microphonics. Both the M7 and M9 also come with a 4.4mm balanced cable for use with a variety of premium audio players including Sony's own Walkman series. The M9 has 5 balanced armature drivers while the M7 makes do with 4, missing out on an additional high frequency driver. This missing driver is quite obvious when comparing the two. While both earphones sound decently flat and accurate through the vocal frequencies, the M7 lacks detail with instruments like strings and cymbals. Even though the M7's drivers are still clearly fast and responsive, the blunted high frequencies end up making the earphones sound slow and congested on first impression. This is similar to the approach that Audio-Technica took with their ATH E70 stage monitor, and while I think this kind of rolled off high frequency sound works well for stage monitors where you might be concerned about excess treble energy at higher volumes, for regular listening you might find the sound a bit dull. Moving to the M9 now, and that extra driver makes all the difference. Suddenly you can hear all that missing detail and edge. The M9 is often compared to the Campfire Audio Andromeda, and it's a useful comparison. The sound is very similar, but I would say the M9 has a thicker low bass tone and more shimmery high frequencies, giving it a more exciting but more artificial sound compared to the natural smoothness of the Andro. Both have similar levels of detail and imaging, so it's really going to be up to you which one you prefer. One thing to keep in mind is that the M9 is far less picky about what you plug it into compared to the low impedance, high sensitivity design of the Andromeda. And the balanced cable is an included accessory with the M9, whereas it's an additional purchase with the Andromeda. So I recommend that anyone who comes into the store to demo the Andro should also give the M9 a listen, and vice versa. This is Lachlan for Minidisc TV. We'll see you next time.